name is Beth Danowski. I'm a registered dietitian and holistic health coach from www.hbdnutrition.com. Today I want to show you a healthy recipe for breakfast that's easy, um, fast, and most importantly, super healthy. Uh, the recipe is overnight chia seed pudding. So for this recipe, just a few ingredients are needed. Um, first and foremost, you'll need some almond milk. This is one half cup almond milk mixed with one half cup water for a total volume of one cup of liquid. You could also substitute coconut milk or regular um, milk if you tolerate dairy. You'll also need, um, one of the more important ingredients is chia seeds. Uh, chia seeds um, are really, really high in fiber, also a great source of protein. Um, for this recipe, you'll need two tablespoons. You then have to, um, you have to pick out your fruit. Uh, you can use any fruit in this recipe. I just happen to choose uh, bananas and blueberries since they're two of my favorites. The last two ingredients are a splash of vanilla. And then for those of you who tolerate nuts, a um, couple tablespoons, a little sprinkle of almonds, pumpkin seeds, pecans, walnuts, whatever you enjoy. So let's start. We're going to take our glass container and pour our almond milk right in there. Pretty easy. Immediately add your chia seeds, again two tablespoons, and they'll float right to the top. So you just want to give your chia seeds a little stir. Stir until they're well incorporated. And then you're going to want to wait about three to five minutes, and it's okay if you go up to 10 or 20, but you want to let this sit, okay? You might go wash the dishes, let the dog out, go help the kids with their homework. But after about 5, 10, 15 minutes, you're going to come back to your mixture and you're going to give it a second stir. This is a secret to making good chia seed recipe um, because if you don't stir it a second time, those chia seeds are going to sink to the bottom of the container and kind of create a lumpy mess and it won't taste very good. So after you've done the second stir, you're going to add your fruit. So again, for this recipe, I chose blueberries. And then I also chose banana, so feel free to open your banana and slice it in. You're going to want to make sure after the banana, especially banana, uh, goes into the recipe that the, the pieces are well submerged. So sometimes they like to stick up, and if they do, they'll just brown a little bit. Not bad for you, but just less pleasant. So just make sure you push all the pieces of banana down. And um, the almonds will come later, but we're going to stick this in the fridge overnight. What will happen is the gel, um, there's like a gel uh, that forms around the chia seeds that creates a pudding-like texture. So I really like these uh, glass containers that have a lid that snaps on because you can even give it an additional shape to really incorporate all those seeds in before you stick it in the refrigerator. So we'll go ahead and put it in. And the result this is one I made earlier, is a nice, delicious chia seed pudding. You can see that the seeds have plumped up, um, the liquid and everything has become a little bit more viscous, and it's ready to enjoy. On the go, I can sprinkle my almonds on there, and I'm ready to have breakfast. So again, thank you for joining me today. My name is Beth with www.hbdnutrition.com.